Hey friends, welcome back to your special weekend edition of Hot News, your Saturday version, if you will. Today's existential question of the day before we get into the hot news is, is cereal a soup? Let me know. We'll leave a poll right up there. Cereal, soup, yes or no? We're gonna jump on into a quick little bit of articles after I tell you about today's video sponsor, our merch, lttstore.com. I mean, wait, you can't get this on lttstore.com. It's a 10 million special. It's mine, you can't have it, but we do have new merch or you can check out Elias' store. Links for both will be in the video description. Check them out. We have fresh merch. He also has fresh merch. Buy stuff, increase the economy. Speaking of increases, let's jump on into the bit of news which today's episode is about, which is AMD's GPU share got a lot bigger. In the Q4 of 2019, John Petty Research coming out, sharing with the fact that AMD increased a lot in Q4 of 2019, and thereby increasing their total market share to be over NVIDIA's in Q4. Simply comparing Q3 to Q4, AMD was up 22% by themselves, whereas NVIDIA decreased by 2%, but overall, Intel holds the highest market share with 63%, whereas AMD is at 19%, and NVIDIA is at 18%. Now, obviously, since NVIDIA is included in this, this is talking about both integrated and discrete graphics cards. And if we take a look at the market share of discrete to discrete, NVIDIA is still holding that out with 73% of the market share. And AMD only has 27%. However, one of the things that I would like to note is that while AMD does have some integrated solutions coming out in the form of their Ryzen 3000 APUs and their Athlons, I would hypothesize that a lot of that likely happened in Q3 of 2019 because those were available when Ryzen 3000 launched. That was partially, that happened in July, which was the beginning of Q3. So it does stand to reason that a lot of the sales probably did indeed come from discrete graphics cards with AMD increasing. However, now their total AMD GPU market share is over NVIDIA's. It's still not getting anywhere near Intel. However, that might change as AMD rolls out new laptops because one of the things Intel has a stranglehold on is the integrated laptop GPU setup because they are basically in nearly every laptop. So if AMD can get a cut of the pie with those new Ryzen 4000 APUs that are gonna be going into laptops, they could potentially uh, shrink Intel's lead down even more. But a, a couple more key things coming out of the John Petty research indicating that the overall attachment rate of GPUs was up 1.8% from Q3. Discrete graphics were in 32% of PCs, which is down 0.2%. The overall PC market increased roughly 2% from Q3 and was up 3.5% from the previous year. And that desktop add-in boards that use discrete graphics increased 12% from the previous year. So there's a lot of increases going on in the PC market. It does seem like GPUs are increasing in people's PCs, discrete GPUs. And one would say that with AMD's launch of the RX 5700 series, they did have some good GPUs there in a solid price segment against NVIDIA, the RX 5700 XT going toe to toe price wise with the 2060 Super, which it handedly beats. So it made sense in that $400 price point to pick up AMD, which is actually one of the most popular price points that we can see according to just our general musings of the market. But what do you think of this news? Let me know down below, but then also just a little bit more AMD news. They gave a presentation at IEEE ISSCC. What? They talked about how their uses of chiplets in CPUs leads to massive cost savings with them showing that a third generation Ryzen processor with 16 cores is roughly half the price of that it would be if it was on seven nanometers, but a monolithic die. And that based on the scaling of cores, you're actually not going to be scaling up your price as much. Whereas typically with a monolithic die, because if one goes bad, you have to throw out the bunch, you're not able to make them as cost effectively. But with chiplets, if you have an eight core core chiplet go bad, then you just throw that out and use a different eight core chiplet. So it allows them to compete more effectively with Intel and price them out of the market effectively. $750 for a 16 core from the 3950X is quite a good deal. And a lot of that seems to be the fact that AMD is working on chiplets as opposed to trying to do it on a giant block. So there is that AMD saying that they're saving money, which is good. Save money, friends, and but send, spend it on us and our merch and lttstore.com. Do that. Check it out at the link in the video description. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this quick little episode of Hot News Today. Let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments. And don't forget to answer the existential question of the day, is cereal a soup? I've heard the argument that soup is hot, but if you f cold soup down in the fridge, if you cold it, cold it down. if you cold soup down in the fridge, it's still soup, isn't it?
So cereal is cold soup with milk, huh? You can have milk as a base in soup. That's how you get like broccoli cheese soup with a very milky base. Anyways, you let me know what you think. I wanna know, cereal soup, yes or no? Video sponsor, our merch. Oh, crap. <laughs> it pulled my microphone.